Hello, hello, my chickadees. It is Nick the Booksmith, and I have a flip through for Annalisa. This is her journal. So a while back, um, we talked, and she had decided that she wanted one um, similar to Primitive Stitches that came out in mid-February, I think. And so I mimicked that. I mean, you know, not exact because, you know, that's not how I roll. <laughs> but anyway, this is um, the book that came out of that. And so it has the same um, muslin cover and it looks all water damaged and stained and dirty and there's still strings all over it. It's a sewing journal, so, huh. And the ridges on the spine, I did the little sewing. Can you see this? The little sewing along the edge. And then there's a vintage co uh, sewing collage on the front. Pretty, pretty. And then on the edges, we have all the lace and tabs sticking out all over the place. All kinds of different textiles, just random things sticking out all over the place. Alrighty. So, Annalisa, let's look at the inside for you, girl. So I did the same um, measuring tape on the inside this paper and the pretty um, lace trim here with some photographs tucked in there. The pattern paper is mostly um, sewing themed, so there will be sewing ephemera. This is an alteration tag, along with my my standard random book pages and ledger and and tea stained and graph. You know the drill. Um, a shipping tag there. A little piece of ephemera here, a little um, Clark's um, advertisement. On this side is a little sewing pattern pocket with some textiles and a cool... Um... <sighs> so, let me show you what my husband found. Let's see if I can reach it. Uh, okay. So, I keep this in a plastic bag because I don't want the ink to dry out. But, my husband found this really cool thing at... Um, an antique, it was two dollars, but it numbers things, you know, and it's like a continuing, continuous numbering thing, <laughs> stamp. Um, I'd never seen one before, but he said he has one at work. And what's so cool about these is they have kind of the old number font, and the stamp is not perfect, which you know, I don't mind. So anyway, um, so you're going to see some of that in here because I was, I just got that and I was playing around with that. We've got the Michelle Mooney, um, sewing pattern ruffles. Here's a little tag here with a collage down in here, all sewn on. There's a pocket on this side with all that lace trim. I added some of the pretty watercolor pages from the Edith Holden book. Some more ephemera. There is a button card with some vintage, authentic vintage buttons sewn on. There's a, another one of those journal cards and a um, pocket with some um, text from an encyclopedia. And I got some of these just regular safety pins and I um, used alcohol inks to kind of ink them up and make them look a little older. So you'll be seeing those here and there throughout the journals too. Here is a pocket with a tag and another piece of ephemera on the side. I just love how this old uh, sheet music stains. It just... I mean, it's old anyway, but it sure does stain up nicely, I think. Takes on a neat patina. Here's a nice big envelope in the middle, all sewn together. 
Another piece of ephemera here with one of those little pins on it. Some pretty church window lace there. Another pocket over here with some old muslin sewn on. Another pocket on this side, again with the muslin. Some notebook paper. See, there's where I went to town <laughs> with the stamp. Oh, I think it's cool though. I think it's really cool. Another alteration tag. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here is some more lace trim with a little Tim Holtz pin. Here's another little pocket over here with this little um, little tag with a some twine and a garment pin in this little this cute picture of this boy all sewn together. There's another piece of ephemera there. Some upside down numbers. <laughs> there is the front of a needle book. More numbers right side up this time. Okay, I'm, tr I'm working on it. I love this color. I just love that. Love it, love it. Isn't it crazy how people like us that we like, we like all the old dirty looking things like, like that. This is stuff that people are like, ew, it's moldy, throw it away. <laughs> of course that's not mold, but you know what I mean. It's like, we're like, no, don't throw anything away. <laughs> I was talking to some friends of mine and they are clearing out his dad's old, um, like his work area and his office. And I'm like, don't throw any old paper away. And they looked at me like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just save it. Just bring, I said, if you're going to throw it away, just bring it to me. I said, I still may throw some of it away depending on what it is. I said, but please just, you know, just bring it to mama. I'll take care of it. It's another uh, sewing pattern ruffle here on this side. And then on the back is this, um, I put this photograph and it's in this tiny little, but very snug, uh, tuck spot. So, lady, lady, this is your sewing journal. Um, I hope you love it. I loved making it. Um, both of the custom orders this week are sewing themed. I don't know if you'll see the second one or not. Um, <clears throat> I haven't asked if she wants a video when it's finished. So, um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I am working on something very special for the store um, that I, I really do. We got company coming in this week from out of state and, you know, stuff, you know, life. Life just messes with my art. And, but anyway, um, so, but I really, really, really want to get it done because I think you guys are going to love it. Well, at least some of you, some of you that um, might have a macabre. Um, I don't know. There, there are just some things that I tend to like that are a little different than, than some people. Um, and I think this is something that if you know me, you're going to like it too. <laughs> if I know my subscribers, I know you're going to like it too. Um, I'm not saying you're all a weird. I'm not, I wouldn't do that. Um, you're just, you're just kindred spirits. How's that? Um, but I really, really want to get that done and get it up on the store by the end of the week because yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So anyway, I hope to see you then again soon and I hope your week is going well. And Annalisa, thank you so much for trusting me on making a journal for you to, um, you know, document your life and, and whatever you decide to do with your book. So thank you guys. And I will catch you in the next video.